You have done nothing but tell me how bored you were. I was the chore, the job you didn't want to do. To me? To me, you were everything. Dress up as Mary Todd Lincoln and help me win this presidency, or you can pack your things and leave. There's the door. Oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Vintage, so adorable. Oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Vintage, so adorable. I am outraged by this. I'm absolutely disgusted. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most healthy expression of how you're feeling. And I, I sometimes wish I just could have been told, you can cry. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in how you're feeling and also you don't need to always be justifying it because i think i was constantly trying to come up with reasons why rather than just being accepted for what it was You got me like Yeah, I think this is right now an inflection point where we're sort of, you know, redefining how we interact with with uh, digital information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's through, you know, the form of these AI systems that we collaborate with. And uh, maybe we have several of them and maybe they all have different competences. And maybe we have a general one that kind of follows us around everywhere, knows everything about, uh, you know, my context, what I've been up to today, um, what my goals are, um, sort of in life, at work, and kind of guides me through and coaches me and so on. And, you know, you can imagine that being super, super powerful. So yeah. I think it is, we are right now at this inflection point of redefining what yeah. this looks like. Um, but, you know, there is also, we don't know exactly what the future looks like. And so we are trying to make these tools available and the technology available to a lot of other people so they can experiment and we can see what happens. You wanna know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He turns to me and he says, Why so serious? 
comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? He sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. And... Why so serious? <laughs>